Today we're going to be working with a non-objective assignment. This is the end result of our assignment. Um, again, non-objective is working with colors, shapes, lines, really no recognizable objects. Even though when you look at this, it reminds me of like funny looking legs where you have little knees here and wobbly thighs and calves. Um, however you need to look at it, you need to look at it as if they're rounded. Okay? The first step in doing this assignment is you're going to have a white piece of paper, it's going to be um, portrait. You're going to draw at least nine semi-curved lines, um, starting at the top and then going down to the bottom. Have a little bit of variety in here, have some of them skinny, some of them fat. What you don't want is a bunch of little squiggly lines. So you're going to continue doing this all the way across. So you have at least nine of these lines. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you get nine of them, you're going to make a horizontal line that has a slight curve in it. It doesn't matter if it's halfway down, so you put it up towards the top, towards the bottom, but you're going to have that horizontal line. From there, we're going to divide it into two stripes. So each one of these, if it is above the line, it's going to make like a little hill. If it's below the line, it's going to make more of a smiley face. And the more curved it is, the more... Um, it looks like it bumps up. Right? If you have a flatter line, it's going to look like it's really flat. So in each one of these sections, so if we're over here, we're going to make it as if it runs off the page. We're going to do this all the way up. And then the other way, When you're done with it, it will look like this. So all filled in. Once you're done with doing all of the bumps up, bumps down, you're going to erase this center line that you had. So we're going to get rid of that center line. From here, you're going to take each one of these and you're going to outline them with a Sharpie marker. Try to keep it very neat. I don't care where you start you're going to, to go over them. So you have nice smooth lines with the Sharpie marker. After you're done outlining all of them, you're going to take an eraser and erase the pencil marks. So when we're done, this is what we have. So everything's filled in with Sharpie marker. We're just going to go over all of our pencil lines and erase. Now the object of this assignment is to practice and improve upon your layering colored pencil technique. And you're going to work with stripes. So you're going to start with just one area. I don't care which one you start with. You're going to start with one of them and you're going to pick colors. So let's say I wanted this stripe right here and I'm going to work with stripes of blue and orange. For each color, you're going to layer them. So you're going to need at least three colors for the blue, three colors for the orange. You want a highlight color, a regular color, and a shadow color. So for my blues, I'm going to use a light blue for the highlights, just a regular blue, and then a black for the shadows. Now each one of these, if we refer back to the finished product, the finished product looks like it has highlights. So if you look right down the middle, there's highlights on all of them, as if the light source is directly above you. You're going to try to figure out, okay, if your light source is directly above you, where would those highlights fall? 
So it may get a little bit thinner here, a little bit wider coming down. I'm just going to follow the curve. Now you don't want this guideline to show once you start coloring, so do it really light. And we're just going to start by filling in the whole section with the lightest color. When you're coloring, you want to go in the direction of the object. So I'm following the contour of these lines. So it makes it look like it's a little bit more rounded. So I've got a really light blue. And now I'm going to start building up. So I'm going to go on my edges with the medium blue. And I'm going to stop where I had my guidelines of where my highlight was. So remember when we did our practice of layering colored pencils, we worked in medium layers. I don't want it too heavy. And then I'm going to use a white as my opaque color to blend. And then I'm going to go back with my shadow. This is going to be my darker. Now you could use a black for your shadow, you could use a purple for your shadow. You can even use its complementary color. So its complementary color would be orange. Each one of those would give you a different color. So it's best if you just take a scrap piece of paper and play around with colors to see what you like best. And then whatever color this is, so I want it to be blue, I'm going to end with blue. I don't want to end with my black because it'll look like it's more of a black color. And I'm going to do the same technique in the same order on every other because I want it to look striped. So every other one, the opposite, I'm going to end up doing orange. So for my orange, I picked, I want my yellow to be my highlight. I could have picked white, I could have picked just a light orange. I just want to play around with colors to see what, what hues I get. I'm going to do just a regular orange up to my highlight line. Okay, the assignment should not be rushed. You want to take your time, do a good quality job. You should not get this done in one class period. Again, I can blend my colors together with my opaque white. If I wanted a little bit duller color, I could have used cream for my opaque. And then my shadows, I want to get I'm trying to keep my shadows in the same area. And once I'm done, I can actually go back in and do more of a shadow line. And put the orange to make it more orange than red. Okay, so what I mean by more of a shadow line is once I got every single one of these stripes done, I can actually go in with a darker value and give it a little bit darker uh, shade around the edges so it really looks like it's a deep crevice in there all the way down. So I'm going to keep repeating that until I have stripes of all different colors right? such as this. So if you notice um, I'm limited to my color combinations. In mine you can see I use blue several times. Here I use blue and purple, here I use blue and red, here I use blue and green. So you can repeat your colors you just want to try to stay away from repeating the combinations. So I don't have a blue and green anywhere again. Right? Try to mix it up and have fun.